What up? How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Yo, hello, people. Secret Senpai here. We are back for Umineko. Yeah, Umineko. I must say Higurashi for some reason. <laughs> I was listening to some Higurashi music earlier, so that's probably why. Um, they are back for Umineko. Umineko, when they cry, when the seagulls cry. Episode 5 on the dime. But yeah, if I could find the game. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yo, <laughs> yeah, we're back for this. Um, been a long week, long day today as well. But yo, we're back for this. See what happens today. See what we could get. Do another chapter. And yeah, um, I think I'm going back to a one. I'm going back to like a one week schedule for I think the rest of this month with this. Uh, I've just been busy with other stuff. Um, specifically this Thursday, I'm gonna be busy. But we'll see what happens next week. Um, I can't say that. I can't say for sure about the other weeks. Then again, this month's basically over, so... Right? Yeah, it's only one more week. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, probably at the end of this week, I'll just be having one more stream after this. And then, yeah, then we'll see what happens in August. Back to two weeks stuff. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. But, you know, life and stuff. IRL stuff you always have to take care of. But, yo, I'm glad to be back for this. And, yeah. See what happens. <laughs> see what will happen. Okay, got that going, got that going. Move this over there. I got me some snacks today. Keep me keep me energized. I was just outside watering some plants. So still adjusting to the inside all of a sudden. <laughs> Been inside all day, then I got outside just to water plants for a bit. Man. Oh, let me also make sure that my um bit rate's are good so that we don't have a laggy stream again. <laughs> Like last time. Um, I'll put there. Okay, yeah, we should be good. I think we should be good. Okay, good. Wi Fi. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yo, it was lagging for a second. Yo, DL Nor? Genshin Nor? Yo, what up? <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Okay. Oh, y'all can't see the screen. No wonder I'm just like... There you go. There we go. <laughs> Let's get right into this. <laughs> into the thick of it. <laughs> oh, my volume. Jeez. Loud as heck. Can y'all see my volume? Here? No, y'all can't. We've got a big old glow in the background. I hate that. But y'all, I need some air circulation in here. Is it like hot where y'all are at? Because actually the past week it's just been um mic is on, right? Yeah, mic is on, okay. <laughs> um for like the past week since when was the last time I streamed? Last Tuesday, this the rain Tuesday? It's been like almost over a week since it rained. La yesterday it was just rained for like the first time in like a little over a week, so <laughs> cooled things down a bit, but now it's hot again. But Oh yeah, on a different account. <laughs> Alternate account. I feel you. I feel you. Actually, that's good. Okay. Let me know if it's if it lags a bit long, though, y'all. I think we should be good, though. Hopefully, my Wi-Fi doesn't go out either. It's a bunch of pro a bunch of stuff's been going on. <laughs> Yo. Past two days, Wi-Fi have been going out like for like five hours. I was like, what's going on? They've been doing construction down the street, messing up the Wi-Fi. Jeez. 109 Fahrenheit, jeez. Well, hey, I'm glad it's not that hot over here. Whoa. I hope you're, hopefully you're keeping cool. Unless you like the heat. I mean, it's each their own. But I'm saving up so I can get my own like little air conditioner in my room.
Do I sound regular now? <laughs> is it still like, why is there always problems? <laughs> Do I sound good now? <laughs> Does it sound good now? Do I sound regular? Hopefully it's not. My, now my mic's giving me problems. <laughs> Let me know if it sounds good now, y'all. I have to switch mics if that's the case. Okay, it's back. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, it's good now. Jeez. Okay, let me just make sure everything's plugged in correctly for a second, y'all. Okay. Hopefully you have nothing else going on. You Sometimes my microphone, if it gets unplugged and I plug it back in, it doesn't sound... I sound like that, basically. That happened to me like two days ago when I was recording a vid. But <laughs> let me know if something else, if we have any other technical difficulties. But yeah, as I was saying with the um, letter... Um, <laughs> why can't we just start the stream regularly? Um, <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying with the letter... Yeah, I was thinking about it... Um, I decided to separate my thoughts of the two to make it much more easier, as we were discussing last time. Um, and I couldn't figure out the letter portion. Yeah, the letter portion part was still a mystery to me. Um, but as for the sound, I mean, they kept saying no one could have made the sound, and then no one could have been in the... Um, then everyone else was in the, um, the guest house. Everyone else was in the guest house because the door was locked. So... I remember there was also we were discussing Troll Alone. I remember we were discussing this last time in the um, another stream. I was streaming something else. And thinking back to another situation that was similar. There was another situation where I think it was with George. I think it was something with like the locked window and stuff. Um, I was thinking, wait a second. Balor's defense in that one was the fact that Someone had to have locked that. Either way, someone locked it, but we don't know who locked it and whatnot. So I'm thinking in this case, something similar is the case where someone heard the sound or someone is saying they heard the sound, but there was no sound or something like that. I don't know. I think it's something like that. Um, I could be wrong about that. And if that is the case, then, then who left the letter then? That's the, thing that's, ticking, that's, that's the thing that's been bothering me that right there. But the only people who walked into that room were Cannon and Shannon. Well, they said humans. I, I don't know if, if they count them as humans, but they're furniture, so I don't know. I don't know about that part. That's as far as I got with that. Um, <laughs> actually, speaking of notes and stuff, I actually found my old notes from, like, episode one and two. <laughs> and it's actually funny seeing um, what the thought process was then in comparison to what I know now. But funny notes. Anyways, where are we right here? What's happening? It's a pretty good approach. Okay. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, but I just I just tend to think about things here and there when I get to it. I don't like be like, oh man, I gotta think about this right now. It's just like just get to it when I can. And that's like, you know what? Let me separate the two. And that has to be something similar to that. And it'll come it'll, I'll think about more so the um other things when it comes to but okay so last time Virgilia yeah we have Virgilia Renov talking Gop Renov Beatrice I see of course after all Nazi isn't the culprit no matter how much you read okay so they were all talking about that stuff yeah yeah not reading it right alone yeah true 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 yeah it's like looking in between other people what other people were saying too not just focusing not just um tunnel visioning in on that so yeah, especially the culprit, yep. So. I found that season culprit. Okay, so they were just talking. Yeah, Virgilia came up to Beatrice because Gap had the bodies hidden. Okay, I know where we're at right now. And now we're back with Nazi talking to Erica? Yeah, but Erica was suspecting Nazi. Yep, okay. I follow. I know where we're at now. And. Let me put that there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hey, she didn't have an alibi. Yeah, that's what's going on. Okay. 
I follow her right now. うん。<笑> That's the insane thing about it. Wherever the killer is, yo, they'll be killing their own, like, blood. Like, ouch. <laughs> Unless they don't care about their child. Oh, what? <laughs> Natsu-san,勝手に疑われて面白いはずもあらへん。悔しいと思うなら、自分の潔白を証明する何かを探すのが先決とちゃうか? True, you gotta make yourself at least innocent. Prove yourself innocent, Natsu. Even though <laughs> you're looking the most sus. The relatives spoke as though they were all under equal suspicion. But the mood about the place didn't feel so peaceful. Mm -hmm. Eric was in the middle confirming everything, but other than Nazi who was unwilling to prove her alibi, the bone notes had an alibi which was reasonably credible. <clears throat> Gotcha, I gotcha. Only Natsui, who claimed that being just being sus just being suspected was an insult, was uncooperative with Erica. And her position began to grow more and more perilous. This parlor was no longer a place to, of comfort for Natsui. And the sound of the cup smashing had made that decisive. Mm. <laughs> Going to bed early is a crime now. <laughs> I see you trying to say that. Oh boy, here we go. Antagonistic Ava. Jeez, yo, Ava really wants. <laughs> yo, yeah, relax. Mm -hmm. Eventful morning. Mm. あ、ちょっと、ごめん。一般の的にはそうですね。いや、you Makes usual, the phone couldn't connect to the police. Natsu said the police would come, but that wasn't exactly true. Strictly speaking, the boat to pick them up would come tomorrow, and they would be able to use the radio on that boat to contact the police. Well, it's not like I'll let everyone live that long anyway. Ooh! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 
ここにみんなで一緒にいた方がいいじゃない要するに是高恩也是你早熟的証明かもよ、oh. これで夏日姉さんが実質で殺されてたりしたら Wow, Ava, yo. That is cold blooded right there. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Ava did not care about Nazi at all. ありがとう。<laughs> the battle of the one who's showing kindness. Oh, Goda! <laughs> yeah, this dude Goda, man. Hey, hold up, hold up. Who's alive right now? I feel like I'm forgetting this. It's all the cousins. Except for Battler, and okay, so okay, I got it. With everyone watching her, Nazi left the parlor. From their faces, she could tell that they were expecting the classic mystery pattern that the first person to quarrel and leave the circle would become the next victim. Nazi couldn't disobey because of the threat against Cross, who had been taken as a hostage. Very soon, it would be 1 p.m., the time that had been arranged. Yep. She had to go and what, hide in the closet? Yeah. She was to hide for an hour in the closet of a specific guest room. It's easy to suspect that this bizarre order was a trap to select her as the next sacrifice. She thought of various ways to resist, but all methods would be useless against a, against a culprit who had a hostage and was observing her from close by. Mmm. So Nazi could do nothing but obediently follow his orders, and then claim that she had been forced to do this for her husband's safety. Hmm. As the arranged time had drawn near, Nazi had intentionally acted annoyed and smashed the cup on the ground to give her an excuse for slipping out of the parlor. Okay. Perfect. At any rate, no matter how cowardly a trap it may be, I can't disobey now. I am now the one who carries the burden of the one winged eagle. Now that my husband, Cross, has been captured, I must protect it even if I have to crawl through the mud. Hmm. Of course, I am prepared to do that. I am Ushirmiya Nazi. Even if I am not permitted to wear, bear the one e one winged eagle on my clothes, Father gave me permission to bear it on my heart. <laughs> he did, I remember that. I think dashing away in her rage got me here without raising too much suspicion. So far, everyone has everything has gone well. Before my eyes was the doorknob of the specified guest room. However, I wondered about the lock. The servants are under orders to always lock my un any unused rooms. What will I do if it's locked? I dashed out the parlor pretending that I was returning to my room. Going back and asking a servant to unlock this guest room would be obviously suspicious. Yep. If possible, I'd like the I'd like to get this eerie hide and seek over with without anyone noticing. In that phone call from the one who claimed to be a man from 19 years ago, he said that I would win if no one found me, but lose if anyone did find me. He said that he'd release my husband whether I won or lost. But as a person with a hostage taken against me, I'd rather not lose. I don't like it at all, but I have to go along with this game. <laughs> win the game, Nazi? I softly gripped the doorknob, and I could feel that it was unlocked. Did Shannon or Kumasawa forget to lock it after cleaning? Or did that man unlock it in advance? That man couldn't be waiting for me in this room, could he? And then he'll. Will he be in here? All that about hide and seek might have been just an excuse. I kept that I kept the fact that I was coming here secret 
and all of the other people thinking think I'm resting in my room. If I were to be killed in this situation, in this room, it might create a new baffling murder case, like an extension of the one which occurred this morning. Exactly. Just open the door, Nazi. I want to see what's what's going on in there. <laughs> Nazi had some experience in using a, nagina, a naginata, but only from casual lesson, lessons. Unlike Ava, she couldn't brag about being able to hold off any si single ruffian indefinitely. Of course Ava would brag about that. As, as she was now, she had no realistic chance of prevailing over a man with malicious intent on her own, and no weapons that could make that possible. She readied herself and slowly opened the door. She couldn't afford to stand around in the corridor and risk being seen by someone. The atmosphere inside the guest room was ice cold. Ooh, dead room. She couldn't sense no trace of a person waiting impatiently for her. All she could hear was the unsettling sound of the rain of the wind and rain. At first that seemed to be proof that no one existed to threaten her. But before long it only stirred up the uneasy feeling inside her all the more. The closet was was just off to the side of anyone entering the room. Lined up against it was a set of hangers where guests could hang their coats. This closet, which had nothing hanging in it, was large enough for even an adult to hide in. So I'm about to come out and say boo? She softly opened the closet. Of course, there was nothing inside. She would have to hide quietly in here for an hour. The room had a wood floor, but something like a carpet had been laid in the closet. It seemed that sitting down would be a, wouldn't be a problem. She had been sure that someone would be waiting for her in this room. Or that a strange letter would be lying in the closet. She had even imagined the worst, that her husband's corpse might be inside. Ooh. However, none of these things she imagined turned out to be true. All that was there was a cold guest room and a lifeless closet which silently urged her to go inside. Mm -hmm. For an hour, Natsuki shrugged, turned around, and then locked and changed the guest room door. I don't know about chaining it though, Natsuki. I mean, I'd lock it, but I don't know about chaining it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what's going on, going on outside the room. This would certainly result in a total victory in the hide and seek game against that mystery man. However, it was such an easy victory, it made her feel uneasy. For real. This is normally against the rules of hide and seek. Even if I win, I won't. Even if I win, won't this displease the culprit? And everyone thinks I'm in my room right now. If they find a room with a chain set, that will be an impossible locked room to, for, to them. Erica was dashing around the mansion to confirm everyone's alibi. If she notices that the chain is set on this room, there will probably be an uproar which will end in them cutting the chain and searching the room. If that happens, I'll be found hiding in the closet right away. Yeah. It would be easy for me to honestly confess while I was hiding. But that man insisted that I not reveal that, yep. If I tell them, I might be endangering my husband. Thinking of it that way, setting the chain, no, even locking the door might be a bad idea. That's right. This room was unlocked when I came here. If it were to suddenly, if it, if it were to suddenly become lock, locked, it's, uh, it's conceivable that it might catch someone's attention. It's better that I don't do anything unnecessary. That man only told me to hide. Hmm? Uh, okay. So then, I have no choice but to do what he says. Oh, <laughs> I, I got so used to narrating. <laughs> oh. Okay, Nazi, yeah, you can talk. I hate doing it, but I can't disobey. <laughs> I ended both of those two precious locks. Went into the dimly lit closet filled with, I mean, I'll keep the lock on, um, but not the chain. I, I, that's what I would do. Went to the, I mean, but he said only to hide, so. But he didn't say you can't do that. Okay, <laughs> reading too much into it. I went to the dimly lit closet filled with the smell of old wood and managed to close the door from the inside. It reminded me of when I was young, 
when I used to hide somewhere and then surprise my mother. But that peaceful recollection wasn't enough to kill off my anxiety. It really is pitch black. From in here, I won't be able to check my watch to see if an hour has passed. I probably need to open the, a crack every once in a while to let in enough light for my watch. For now, I sat down and folded my legs. Yo, why does this make me anxious? I thought about holding I thought about holding my knees to my chest, but I hurt my back when I tried. I'm not as young as I used to be. Even though I and the rest of my class were made to sit on the floor clasping our knees in every PE class as grade schoolers, I now have to struggle just to sit down. Just sitting down here for an hour will probably hurt a lot. Dang, when she gets up, she's going to be hurting. You got to stretch nice to hear. Get that cardio going. I can't believe. He expects me to sit in the darkness for a full hour, listening to only the wind and the rain. Ironically, Natsuki had made Jessica do the exact same thing in the past. She had done it to scold Jessica, Jessica's persistent bad habits, and teach her a lesson when she was a little girl. So she had to sit in a locked, in a dark closet? She had thought that making Jessica stay put in the darkness would sprout a desire to reflect on her mistakes. Okay, I see where she was going with that. And that... This way, she would understand what she had done wrong. To Natsuki, it almost felt like she was being made to do the same thing. Mmm! If it was... If that was the true purpose of this hide-and-seek... Yep. This must, be, this must be my naivety. The hope that if this goal... If, that if his goal is to make me repent, nothing will come... Nothing will happen here during this hour. Uncertainty and fear of that man's shadow are not what I need right now. Will someone suddenly come to this room, open this closet, and do something horrible to me now that I have come here in total secrecy as promised? That's what I should be worrying about. The culprit, or one of his accomplices, is very close by. If they weren't, they wouldn't be able to observe me so thoroughly. I don't want to think it. I want to think it. But it's highly likely that the culprit brought, bought off one of the servants. The culprit was able to hide an eerie card with Autumn written on it in my room. My personal room my personal room was is always locked. That trick wouldn't have been possible without a key. Instead of believing that they obtained the key when the servants were weren't looking, it's much more realistic to assume that one of the servants lent the culprit a hand. Okay. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, gas. I mean, it's one out of four chance. The thought of that this mystery man might be... The thought that this mystery man might be peeking into my heart sent goosebumps running across my whole body. It's true that I like Auden, but I've never said that out loud. I don't think anyone's ever asked me either. I couldn't even ask my husband what my favorite season is, and he would probably be stuck for an answer. Mm. No. There was one time, one time I told it to a single person. That's right. Shannon. Ooh. On an autumn day long ago, I happened to be in a good mood. And I mentioned that autumn was my favorite of the four seasons. I can't believe it. Then the culprit or one of the other accomplices has to be Shannon. Mmm. <laughs> From what she recollects, she's out of chance only when she told. Mm. A terrib I trembled and shook with rage. Yeah, that's what she said. Didn't Kingsley once say that the emotion of anger is the fastest sedative to cure fear and uncertainty? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like she couldn't mention this to anybody. <laughs> it's easy to tell the most fearful humans from within a crowd. They're always the first to get angry. I remember him telling me that. So I realized that his this anger was a sign that I was actually frightened. And I tried to best my I tried my best to remain calm. <laughs> However, this is a fascinating clue that I can use to turn things around. Hmm. 
Shannon may not be reliable as a servant. But if she's an accomplice used by the mystery man, this might actually be convenient. She's a timid girl. If I threaten her, she'll probably spill the <laughs> spill the name of the mastermind in an instant. <laughs> Yo, I'll tell the police about this in secret. I'm certain it will be a big clue that will help in arresting the culprit. Mm. Mm. I never told anyone except Shannon that I like Autumn. Okay. It is an, it is an unshakable proof that she's working with the culprit. <laughs> Though I thought that this time in the closet would crush me with uncertainty and uneasiness, it had actually given me the start of a counterattack. If I hadn't been given this time in the darkness, I probably wouldn't have noticed this. I felt almost grateful to the culprit for making up this foolish game. But my... My mood bright and brightened? Yeah, brightened. I, I wrote that. I read that as bright ended. I was like, what? I still couldn't guarantee that my husband was safe, but I was determined to take him back and force the culprit to face judgment. Yeah, we still don't know where Cross is at. Other than I'm, I'm trapped. I gripped my fists tightly and further strengthened my resolve to avoid losing this fight at any cost. Ooh! At that moment, I heard the sudden sound of someone trying to force a locked door open, and my heart leapt. Oh, snap. <laughs> Hideyoshi. The voice was Hideyoshi's. I heard a quiet voice, as though he was talking to himself, coming from what was probably the hallway. Apparently, he had thought it was locked and tried to unlock it, but had ended up locking the unlocked door instead. Once again, there was the sound of the lock turning, and this time, the door opened with a faint sound. Why? Why is Hideyoshi sound in this room? Why is he in here? Footsteps which sounded like his came in, and there was the sound of him closing and locking the door behind him. Was he about to sleep? What's he about to do in here? <laughs> then came what seemed to be the sound of him setting the chain. Don't tell me the Hideyoshi san is the mastermind? Or else an accomplice? Is he planning to do something to me in this room? The door may only be locked from the inside, but it will sti still take some time to remove the chain. If Hideyoshi-san doesn't intend to let me escape from here, there's no chance he'll give me time to fumble around with the chain. <laughs> In that case, when he opens the closet door wide in just a moment, and he looks down upon me sitting there pathetically, just what kind of horrifying words will he say? I don't want to be found. I don't want to be found. I beg you, pass right on by the closet door. Please keep going into the center of the room. My head was filled almost with bursting um, was filled almost to bursting with a throbbing sound so loud that I almost missed hearing his nosy footsteps. So when I heard a clunking sound coming from the center of the room, I finally realized that he'd passed by the closet and was deeply relieved. Just in case, can't tell if it's there. I thought, yo, it'd be creepy if the eyeball suddenly showed up in the middle of that crack. As he muttered, he did something that made a clunking sound. He was probably closing the shutters on, on the window. What did he say? Just in case, can't tell if it's night or day in this weather anyway. Just in case. In case I try to escape out the window? No, that can't be it. That's right. When I left the parlor, everyone was talking about possibly taking a break. After all, several murders had occurred, and the weather was bad. There would be nothing abnormal about re resting in a guest room here instead of returning to the guest house. In that case, locking up and closing the shutters to guarantee safety was the proper course of action to take. When he finished closing the shutters, there was a thunk, thunk as though he had flopped over on the bed. It was surprising how much of the situation could be grasped just by the sound. What's going on here? Did the man from 19 years ago plan all this out to put me in the same room as Hideyoshi-san? Probably not. <laughs> no, that probably isn't true. Clearly he planned on me hiding here, but Hideyoshi-san coming to take a rest here must have been outside the scope of his plan. Thinking about it that way, having him in the room might help to secure my own safety in as an odd sort of way. Unlike his wife, Hideyoshi-san is the kind of person I can talk to. 
In truth, Yoshi is more talkable than the other. Mm. Unlike, yeah. Maybe I should slip out of this closet now while he's still out alone. Reveal everything to him and ask for help. Are you sure about this? But if I do that, my husband might be killed. It isn't wise to do anything rash until my husband is released. Should I go out and talk or hide in Should I go out and talk or hide in here? Moaning from my headache and biting my lower lip, I resisted the temptation to crawl out of crawl out of here. Even if I talk to Yoshi-san, I don't know where my husband is being held. I'm sure the inform informant who's observing me is nearly is nearby as well. Just talking to him won't solve everything. I suspect that Shannon is an informant, but that doesn't mean that Goda and the others aren't. It's no good. Leaving here and confessing is just too dangerous. Eventually I heard a strange sobbing voice. Whose voice was it? I strained my ears trying to hear that strange sound. And it was a and I was shocked to discover that it was Hideyoshi weeping. I mean, his son passed away, so Now that he was all alone like this, Hideyoshi, who has lost his only son, was finally able to shred, shed tears and cry. Thinking that he needs to support Ava in her distress, he had acted as though he was he alone was standing firm. Mm. River, he was as good as right. He had as good a right as anyone to cry. And now that he had found a place where no one could see his tears. The music creepy, man. <laughs> he was finally allowing himself to let it out. I've lost my daughter too. I haven't seen her body with my own eyes, so it still doesn't feel like she's dead. True, she still hasn't. But if the one who carried her off was the culprit, and he had some repulsive motive for doing it, just thinking about it makes me feel as though my chest will tear itself apart. The reason I'm hiding in here now is that I'm thinking more about my still living husband than my dead daughter. But if I were given the chance, I'd be wailing at the top of my lungs too. However, I still can't let myself do that. That isn't because the a man from 19 years ago has told me to hide. It's because I am the final head of the Ushirumiya family. Mm. It's been completely overshadowed by all of this. But last night, Balor couldn't found the hidden gold and even gained the head's ring from that mysterious envelope. At the very, very end, when it's all over, I probably won't be able to prevent him from inheriting the family headship. And when everything regarding the distribu distribution of the inheritance is revealed, the Ushimiya family honor and the glory passed down from father will what? Will plummet to earth. Yeah, that'd be the end of that. For her. So, I am the final head. Balakun will probably inherit the remaining wealth of the, of the Ushimiya family. However, its history and honor will all end with my generation. Therefore, I am its, I am the final head. Dang, you're not going to give any like hope with Battler there? That she said, dang. That she said that the end of the honor for its history and honor will end. Jeez. I must not cry. Not yet. I mean, he's been gone for how many years? So it makes sense that she would have that perspective. Until I get my husband back and avenge my daughter, I will not be allowed to shed tears. As I listened to Hideyoshi San's sobs from the closet, I listened, I silently hung my head. Huh? My heart leapt. Oh no. Hideyoshi San, who must have been lying prostrate on the bed, made it sound as though he had bounded to his feet. Did he notice me? Oh man. Oh, not Hideyoshi, man. He was clearly in a struggle with someone. Now, so you jump. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Who could it be? No, it doesn't matter who it is. It's probably the culprit, and they're probably trying to take Hideyoshi san's life at this very moment. Shouldn't I jump out of here and help him? Even if I couldn't help him, I could at least call for help. But, if, but no. But if I do something like that, I'll be questioned about why I was hiding in here. However, if Hideyoshi san goes on and gets killed now, now isn't the time to be saying that. At this rate, he'll definitely be killed. I'll jump out of here and help him right now. Ah, but if I do that, even if I can't save Hideyoshi san, I might be abandoning my husband's life. 
his Yoshi san's life and my husband's life. How sinful it would be to try and weight those against each other. Just then, there's a loud sound of the door opening and the chain being pulled tightly. So someone locking it. Someone was trying to open the door despite the chain being set. Ooh, and Eva's outside there? Eva! Ah, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> and Nasu over here in the closet, like, <laughs> oh no. She opened the closet. Dope. She opened and closed the door over and over again with our might, but of course she couldn't snap the chain. Ava raced down the hallway, calling for help in a loud voice. By this time, the room had settled back into silence, and that earlier feeling of Hideyoshi being in a noisy struggle had suddenly had disappeared completely. What's going on here? So right now, I'm in the same room as the murderer who killed Hideyoshi-san. In that case, the culprit should try to escape from the room as soon as possible, so why are they staying so quiet in here? I haven't heard anything. Nothing that might might have been the culprit who was a who attacked Hideyoshi san run, rushing away. No matter how much I strained my ears, I can't sense anyone in the room. In fact, it's so silent that it makes what happened just a second ago feel like an illusion. In other words, does this mean that the culprit is holding his breath? Standing right in front of this closet? Waiting for me to shamelessly come out? Yo, that is creepy. I don't even know what to be scared of anymore. If only I could just melt away into the darkness of this closet. I mustn't remain in this room any longer. I get the feeling I have more to worry about than just my personal safety. But what should I do? I don't even know if it's a good idea to leave this closet. Before long, the clamor of many Russian footsteps approached. I held my breath again and melted away into the darkness of the closet. <laughs> oh no. Ava dashed back, bringing everyone with her. Goda is gripping a bolt cutter. It was, to cu it was to cut the chain with. After trying to open the door again and confirm that the chain was still set, she yelled through the crack in the door. Mm. Yo, Nazi, yo. Hiyoshi being dead in here, and if you're found in the closet, yo, <laughs> yo, Ava about to murder you. <laughs> Goda st stuck a large bolt cutter, which looked like it could it could slice off a whole, slice off whole fingers. Jeez, into the crack in the door, and suddenly, and easily severed the chain. Okay, Goda. As soon as it was sev severed, Ava pushed Goda aside and dashed in. The others tried to follow her, but they bumped into Ava, who had fallen on her knees moaning. So even though they couldn't tell much of what was had going on. In Inside the room, they could tell by Ava's moans that they were too late. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, man. <laughs> nah, he dead. Well, we'll see what Dr. Nanja has to say. <laughs> oh, no one in the bathroom. What about the closet? Oh. Nothing I can do. Dang. Not just sort of shaking, hanging his head sadly. Hmm. So what does it say about, what does it say about Hideyoshi? What's the diagnosis? Well, we know he's dead, but like, how so? Corpse discovered in the guest room on the first floor of the mansion. He had been pierced through the back with a demon stake. Its, teeth, its tip reached as far as his lungs. Ooh. Because he was lying face down on the bed, suicide must be ruled out. Face down. 
increasing the back. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, I read that correctly. Not just Philip hanging his head sadly. It was only natural. Because anyone, even if they weren't a doctor, would think that at a glance. Mm -hmm. Hideyoshi was lying face down on the bed. And stuck deep in his back was something like a blade with an intricate demonic design on it. Rest in peace, man. <laughs> Resurrection request. <laughs> when Ava pulled it out with all her might, they could tell that it wasn't a blade, it was some kind of stake. And its sharp tip had penetrated nearly 15 centimeters in. Dang, half a foot? It had probably dug deep into the lungs. If it had been stuck in any longer, any harder, the tip might have pierced all the way through to the surface of his chest. Yep, y'all split up. Mm -hmm. Y'all should just all stick together. Hmm. Huh. Yep. That's right, so... Yep. <laughs> Yo, that's some crazy like... <laughs> it's a... <laughs> like... Yeah, beds in a blind spot, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like for real. Mm -hmm. Yep, locked room. Yo, where's Erica? Never heard anything from her yet. Mm. Oh. Huh. Oh, here we go. I was waiting for her to appear. <laughs> That's where she was. <laughs> she was like, oh yeah, I'm already ahead on that battler. <laughs> He don't like her. It was no wonder everything felt so quiet and relaxed. At some point, Erica had split, up, split from the group. Just now she had finally arrived and poked her face in from the hallway. She had heard that a crime had occurred in this room. Seen everyone rushing towards it and had and taken the opportunity and taken the opposite approach by circling around to the outer wall. And she had gone all by herself to check that the shutters were down on the windows and you couldn't do anything with them from the outside. And that there is nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Is that cliche? Mmm. Dang, how you gonna, how you gonna say my deepest condolences with a smile on your face? See for yourself. <laughs> And talking about my deepest condolences. Mm -hmm. Ava was arguing with Nanjo about something. Whether she wanted to carry the body to the parlor. Nanjo tried to calm her, saying that they could should leave the crime scene as untouched as possible until the police come came. Oh, okay, I see where she's going with that. Makes sense. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> but intend to do something. <laughs> Yo. She does have a point with that. 
After all, the prior victims were all carried away after we were shown the terrible and fatal room wounds. Uh-huh. looked at her with an expression with cl of clear disgust. I feel you, man. But, but rolled over like water off a duck's back. <laughs> analogy. Or metaphor. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Erica backed away from the door to open a path. There was no trace of any sadness for the dead. Her eyes simply blazed at the thought of this locked room murder that had appeared. In any event, the great detective had given her permission. Ava and some others wrapped Hideyoshi's body up in the sheets, and Gordon and Rudolph started to carry him out. The sheets quickly turned red. Ugh. It was so painful to see that Shannon and Kumasawa stripped the bed blanket off the bed to further cover the body. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Yeah, I feel I feel you, Ava though. Yeah, exactly. Don't be don't be by yourself anyone. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, we don't know where those But then the chain yep. <laughs> That's uh, impossible. Let's if we could. Yeah, true, man. True, canon. <laughs> Of course, of course, she would repeat that one. Yeah, for real, like... Yeah, so stick with everyone. I mean... <laughs> oh, that means, yeah, that means we're leaving this locked room, um, Erica. <laughs> when she heard the words, plain detective, Erica grimacedly, grimaced visibly. Hey, I'm not playing detective. I am the detective. <laughs> Yo. Then after everyone had fill, fill, had filed out, she took a single step into the now empty guest room, looked around, and burned the scene into her eyes. Erica claimed to have a photographic memory. If that was true, those few seconds were more than enough for her. Later on, she could sit back, black tea in the parlor while pursuing her mental photographs of the crime scene, and enjoy playing the part of the armchair detective. Yo, Nazi, how much time has passed for you? Then suddenly, her eyes stopped at the closet off to the side. A closet for hanging overcoats. If it were, was large enough to fit a coat on a hanger, a person should be able to hide in it. Slowly, Erica stretched her hand out towards the closet. Ah, <laughs> battler man. Erica Shul is grabbed roughly from behind. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> Yo! Battler coming in for the save there? Like... Dang! <laughs> After clicking her tongue and glaring at the closet, Erica followed Battler back to the parlor for the time being. Yo, Nazi, it's time to get out of there. <laughs> Yo, has it been an hour? The sound of the footsteps finally faded. That time of terror, when I feared that even the dripping of the cold sweat that covered my cheeks might be noticed, was finally over. Yo, 
Yep, Nazi. I slowly opened the closet door with hands still that still couldn't stop trembling and dashed out into the hallway. Excuse me. It's alright, no one's found me. Still, it's a good thing that they didn't lock the door. If they had, I wouldn't be able to lock behind me after I left. And they'd find that suspicious. Yep. Anyway, I should leave this place. Then I'll return to my room and pretend that I was sleeping the whole time. That's why I have to get back quickly. A new murder has occurred. They'll probably try to tell me about it. And they'll probably do, do it immediately after they carry Hideyoshi-san's body back to the parlor. I can't get around a phone call by saying I was asleep and didn't notice. notice. But if they come knocking directly, that'll be bad. Yep. I have to get back quickly before they try to force their way in. Yeah, quickly, Nazi, you gotta, you gotta run. I don't even know whether I should sprint back noisily to save every, every second I can, sneak back with my hushed footsteps, or walk around normally as though I didn't, don't know anything has happened. One thing I'm certain of is that I have to avoid bumping into them on their way back to the parlor. I have to get to my room at a quick pace without being noticed by anyone. Uh, Nazi, I, I'm believing in you. <laughs> I passed through the hall to the lobby. Once I ascended the main staircase to the, in the lobby, I'll be almost there. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Just as she was about to go up the large staircase, Nazi heard Erica call out to her. Ah, out of all the people. <laughs> and was so surprised that she visibly jumped. ちょうど今からあなたにも知らせに行こうと思ってたんです。それでは何かありましたか？今、ナチシさん。Uh, just what? <laughs> yes, I forgot. I don't know. I can't think of nothing for you, Nazi. Erica coldly pointed out this this strange fact. Tatsu cursed her bad luck. Ooh, okay. That's, a good, that's kind of a good excuse. I, I, I didn't like the way she said that, but hey, at least at least it's working with for you right now, Nazi. Erica is clearly making fun of her, yup. And Natsuki might have put on an annoyed expression under normal circumstances. However, right now, Natsuki was extremely relieved to hear Erica admit that this was nothing out of the ordinary. Erica's pro probing gaze peered deep into Natsuhi's eyes. She could tell. Erica was already suspicious of Natsuhi, judging by the subtle nuances of her words. This was almost certainly an attempt to make er Natsuhi slip up and reveal that she knew about the Hideyoshi murder she hadn't yet been told about. Natsuhi played dumb and asked again what had happened. Ugh. Yep, and you weren't around again. Ah, man. Yeah, dang. Mm. Okay. <laughs> she had planned on escaping to her own room using her lock as an excuse. Claimed to have, su have a sudden headache and staying in bed the rest of the time. However, now that she had been informed of Hideyoshi's murder, it would be quite suspicious to say that she couldn't that she could wait and escape to her room. Yep. She was already under suspicion after being sent seen heading up the stairs to the second floor. 
She couldn't afford to do anything else suspicious. Yeah, Natsu is in the worst predicament with this. Natsu gave up and headed for the parlor as Erica had urged her to do so. Yikes. As she opened the door to the parlor, Ava's sobs poured out. Loud sobs. I've been staring at Natsu with grave faces. Those gates almost made it look as though they suspected her. Ah. This must have been what that man was after. It was her chance to create a baffling locked room murder and frame her for it. Yep. Just like the first situation, you were in your room and... But I couldn't disobey. I couldn't sacrifice my husband's life. And while it's true that I was hiding in the closet, that was all. I haven't committed murder. I might fall under enormous suspicion, but I'm still not the culprit. And most important, and most importantly, I'm not under suspicion yet. I told the police everything. I have to. I have. I'll have to endure it until then. I'm sure one one of the servants is feeding information to the culprit. Even in a situation like this, if I talk about my husband being held hostage, the culprit will hear, and it might be used as an excuse to kill him. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and what's this? <laughs> oh man. From the first crime to the last. Okay. Okay, slight recap. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? What was that? <laughs> wait, hold up, what's it say? I have something important to say once I've cleared everything up. Neither you nor anyone else has the right to refuse. Yeah, what? <laughs> Erica used her detective authority to proclaim the star of an assembly. Yep. None of the pieces could disobey. Praying that she wouldn't become the topic of conversation, Natsu reluctantly sat on the cold sofa as she had been urged to. Man, I feel you with this Natsu here. Hmm, why do you want the door closed? Shannon Cannon closed the door. Since they had just now decided to lock all doors and windows carefully, Cannon locked it as well. Okay. The lock which, which existed to protect the safety of this room felt like a lock on a prison cell to Nasi, one that would hold her there and prevent any escape. Hmm. Nasi still hadn't noticed that ever since Erika had left into the corridor to go check the crime scene in Hideyoshi's room, her goal had changed. Yeah, she, but she was going to go there. In short, from Erika's point of view, the sound of that lock was truly... Hmm. Erica said that suddenly. Bronzo had su su said that suddenly. Gosh, man. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, why is that so loud? <laughs><笑>もう何分かっちゃったの?まだ事件だって全然進んでないのよ。もう少し殺させていろいろと手がかりを集めればいいのに。さあ、ラムダ。全ての駒を集めなさい。<laughs> Oh snap. <laughs> to the fullest. Bum, 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 ba -dum. <laughs> hey! Ha <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. Courage on the ski cut to a sassinua. Look at it, that also. 
ベルンカステル卿フルドエリカうんふんレッツゴーおう In the Golden Land, the endless rain continued to fall. Okay, back to seeing what's up with Battler. Battler was nowhere to be seen. Oh, I guess not. It would, be very, it would so, very soon reach the time when Battler had joined in on the fifth game. Yep. And control his peace would be passed on to him. Ooh, that doesn't mean interesting. In other words, only now, in the final stage of the game, when Berkenstella had pinpointed the culprit, was Battler finally going to be allowed to participate. He had left the arbor a short while ago for that reason. Now, the only ones in sight were Virgilia, who continued to knit silently, and Beto, who just sat there blankly and missed the smell of her black tea, not even putting the cup to her lips. Virgilia stopped knitting for a moment and looked out across the vast gold rose, golden rose garden that extended as far as I could see. <laughs> Hey, yo, what up, Marinda? Maybe we can say Balakun has gained some. Yep. Dayonogenmadeanatawasubetanomessage. He will never solve it. Hmm. Hmm. And that, Beatrice, goes for you as well. Hmm. Even if you play this game a hundred, hundreds more times, you will never arrive at the answer you seek. Broken still, still. Will abuse this game without a doubt. Lambda Delta will also churn this game about with the utmost arrogance. At a glance, that may be humiliating and appear to you and Battler, Battler as though the game had been stolen from you. However, that is something the two of you need right now to bring an end to Battler's weak side, to bring an end to your hesitation. Mmm. Okay. Eliminate Battler's weak side. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Hmm. Battler's all will now be filled with compassion. Yep. Yeah, whether victory or defeat, it'll be with compassion. Huh. Virgilia faced Beto, whom she had come to adore like a daughter. Huh. <laughs> with cold eyes that she must not have shown often. It was like the gaze of a mother who, instead of scolding silently, urges their child to recognize their mistake. Beatrice. What's <laughs> I'm Virgilia, I've guided him to Purgatory and Bronze. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Do you know that the tribulations of Purgatory, which lies in the gap between heaven and hell, are sometimes more torturous than even hell itself? On the gates of hell, it's written that you must abandon all hope. A human without hope can accept their suffering and give up. However, the denizens of purgatory have hope. A hope of possibility to reach in heaven, a hope that cannot be abandoned, and that tortures them. Even in the deepest depths of hell, no greater torture device exists than the single pin known as hope. Hmm. 
煉獄の崖より淡く脆くてくだらない希望の未練ごとパンドラの箱を開け放ってしまいなさい怖いでしょう箱を開けるのはうんビドは silent But with a single tear, she nodded silently, slightly. What was that? Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. But she nodded slowly, yeah. Alive or dead, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The cat box eternally desecrates the cat. あなたが開くことを恐れた箱の鍵をあの二人が持ってきてくれましたよ。うん。Oh, Beatrice. Zaim has come for you to die. I hope that your heart will be stopped by the hand of the person you desire. Mmm. Be killed by the person you desire to kill you. Mmm. Yo, these are. Do I buy berry grapes? They are just the best. Do I have to click something, or is it just gonna keep going? Okay, there we go. Hey, yo, <laughs> I got me scared for a second. I was like, dang. <laughs> Great core of illusions. The cuss? <laughs> All the pieces from the game board were gathered. All the humans, furniture, witches, and the witches on that even higher level had gathered in one place. <laughs> that place was like a solemn cathedral with an unbelievably high ceiling. White stonework, golden ornaments, Though there were windows, there were no entrances nor exits. <laughs> it was strange, strange place. But for some reason, no one wondered where this strange place was, because they were not given the right to think of this place as strange. Hey! <laughs> yep, I get I follow that. I follow that. <laughs> Three witches were seated in special thrones to sit on a high balcony. In the center of the game master, Lamba Delta, on either side of the semicircular balcony sat Be Birkenstall and Beaches facing each other. Below them, Erica ran forward, lifted the corners of her skirt, and bowed respectfully. Respectfully. Okay, Furuto. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of course, they exchange nasty smiles. <laughs> Gosh, why is this glass breaking sound so loud? Oh, 
への改定を宣言する Ruler of the game spoke with words of power. Though her words were spoken inside such a vast space, they rang out with the, voice, with the force of a bell in a bell tower. Oh, okay. Mm. By all means, hey, I like that. Respectfully, everyone introducing themselves, you know. <laughs> Yo. Which is certainty, yep. <laughs> it's the penetrate Beatrice's. Why does she gotta use the word penetrate? Like, <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. yep. You got Battler? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with witches. Yep. Yep, okay, so this is okay. Mm -hmm. All by himself on one end. Jeez. He met the gaze of Bito, who was up on the balcony. <laughs> she said it would be more dazzling if you said my arch enemy. <laughs> yeah, true. And the end, yeah. Hey, hey! This is our game. We started it. I almost said that I was fighting Beto's witches, Beto's witch illusions. Originally, Beto was one was my one and only enemy. By now, Erica and those witches who started tampering with Beto's tail are my enemies as well. Who should I fight and how? Maybe it's a good, good thing I won't have the right to speak for a while. Man, the penetration. <laughs> I keep a cool head and calmly watch everything unfold. Okay. Erica greeted the witches above her and the humans behind her at her once again. Hmm. Urged by 45 to introduce themselves, Kinzo stood up. Oh, hey, what's up, Kinzo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, confined somewhere in Dido. Dido? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's the funny? Jessica, no. like everyone here. <laughs> Yo, George, what up, man? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you've been watching since I heard it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Only she would say that. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Eric. Yo, Nazi, watch yourself. <laughs> Yo, Erica's eyeing you. 
I'm also hanging. <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm, I'm still living. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to survive, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. Majuru's group could also be seen. There's a second battle different from Bito's group, which was group was on, which jutted out like raised audience seating. Seating, yeah. They sat there looking down as though they were at a theater. That's my job. Okay, Renovia. <laughs> oh, the seven sisters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everyone for real getting introduction for this. Oh. Hey. I wonder how long they practiced that to say that in unison. Mm -hmm. Oh, even the um, yeah, okay. If the coincidence, yeah. yeah this, is, this is a lot of people. And witches, humans, furniture. The human could be seen on the second floor balcony. That's that apart from Virginia's group. Hmm. Then Delanor was seated between the two, slowly stood up. She had a presence and dignity about her, as though she was overseeing everything from that place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we meet again. Yep. Yeah, she. <laughs> after your conversation last time. Yeah, exactly, man. Going all out. ドラノールの出番はコンペンの必要はありません。しかし、魔女側が胸くと胸の流れを持て遊ぶとき、それを断罪してもらわねばなりません。詳細でも奇跡は二度と起こりませんから。Ooh, the miracle of this study, huh? 最後にご挨拶申し上げます。yeah, she gets the sisters now. Okay. Task with the proceedings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Number of characters was 38. If you took the fifth game into account, but if you added all the pieces who appeared in previous games too, it would probably rise even higher. Yep. This mysterious game, which had so often been likened to chess, how far more pieces than had far more pieces than a chessboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that goats are over here too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some drinks and popcorn. <laughs> Please star, I've been I've been waiting. <laughs> I'm like here waiting. Mm -hmm. At the sound of her voice, the Chiesa sisters' troops straightened up, lifted their right knees, 
and stamp down hard on the floor with their heels. Dang. It became a low, deep rumble from the ground, which instantly erased all chatter in the cathedral, and turned their eyes and expressions even more hollow and empty. The room fell back into silence, almost as though no they were a collection of wax models. <laughs> Amidst the heavy silence, there was a sound of footsteps. As Erica walked out into the center where she could catch everyone's attention. When she signaled with her chin, a go attendant appeared from behind a pillar. And carried a single plain chair out into the front and center of the room. It must have been the defendant's chair. <laughs> Ooh, accusation time. <laughs> yeah, we saw this from the start. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Erica pointed at Nazi and spoke. Ooh, a lonely... What's the name of the song? A lonely deep sea fish? Okay. Nazi... The, wax, the Nazi wax doll alone twitched and regained its expression. It was an expression of panic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is like a, this is straight up a courtroom right here. <laughs> They pinned Nazi's arm behind her back and led her, led her to the chair in the center. Nazi resisted, but the chiestasis were surprisingly strong and she couldn't do anything. She turned to the relatives as well, but they just remained silent like wax models. Hmm. I mean, given the... Man. That sucks for her. Yep. The family alchemist. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Beatrice. <laughs> yeah, Nazi. Yo, don't sweat. Don't sweat. After this, for as if after this, we'll give you some talent or something like <laughs> that'll be your treat. Mmm, exactly. Out of those words, Nasu jerked back and gulped. Her panic finally disappeared, and she stood up straight. Mmm. Yep, that's right, Nasu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. どうしてこの状況にそのような虚勢が晴れるやろ。あなた本当にどこの欠片でもいじめられっ子ね。ベルンカステルは主張するわ。オッケー、レッツヒアディス。このゲームの犯人は人間。後ろには夏日。うん。
If Erica were to win, the witch illusion would be destroyed. That means the existence of the witch would be denied. Bita was fighting for her life. However, this wasn't the only time she had been fighting for her life. It had always been a life or death struggle when she fought with Balor. Exactly. Nothing new. Because if Balor had won and broken through the witch, through the witch illusion, illusion in any of the previous games, Bita would have been destroyed. うん。それはどうでしょう。ベルンデスベル教には情けの心が。オッケー、そう。自分の望んだ活躍をしなかった駒に温かい賞を。ルードいや。エリカパティで Erika was probably fighting for her life just the same. For real. The two claims would clash, and one would be weeded out. One would fall, and would win one would not leave this place alive. The ones who truly had nothing to lose were those witches. Of course. Okay. No problem. Yes, let's begin now. <laughs> of course. Oh boy, there we go. なつひさんを除いて全員が同じ部屋にいたじゃないですか。うん。やっぱ、さんなつ、でん。いや、すごい。It ヒデヨシを殺したのはナツヒじゃないのいい、逆だわ。どう考えてもナツヒ以外にヒデヨシは殺せないじゃないの。議論も反論の余地もないわ。うん。ですから誤解です。確かに私には有りがないかもしれません
ゲーレツ。フルドエリカは時系列を行うことができる。ゲーレツを行うことができる。ゲーレツを行うことができる。ゲーレツを行うことができる。ゲーレツを行うことができる。ゲーレツを行うことができる。ゲーレツを行うこと
一人で使用にしていたと自称する子だ。でボソソは。いとこ部屋へ引き、殺人を行う余地があるはずです。はあ、めっそうもない。<笑>どうしてそんなことを私たちが。あ、あ、no god、why would you？ <笑>そうですとも、yeah. そうですとも、人殺しないってそんなとんでもないことです。お。Can't be definitely said to be Nazi. So after all, it's possible that Kumasawa and the guests are going to be right. Yeah. ナツヒがすべて語っておるわ。控え室で一人眠った熊沢も、使用人室に一人こもったゴーダも、寝室のナツヒと何も変わらぬ。どちらもアリバイを失うではないか。ご安心を。この二人は殺人犯ではないと、私が保証します。まず、熊沢さんは晩餐後、私たちと一緒に屋敷を出てゲストハウスへ行き。Yeah, okay. He did, yeah, I remember that. Oh. Okay, you're serious now. <laughs> My turn to stand up. Hmm. Bito glanced where Delanor sat on the second floor balcony. However, Delanor just stared back with those usual expressionless eyes. Hmm. Absolute proof. Yeah, what was that? Hold up. We have absolute proof. Okay, absolute proof. Makes <laughs> Yeah, what do you say, Baron? And Erica. Baron. <laughs> 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 And for the witch of the huh. Okay. In response to Erica's challenge, Bito smiled boldly, yet gracefully and slowly stood up. And they glared at each other between the floor and the balcony. Hey! それぞれアリバイがない。二人はゲストハウスにおり、いつでもいとこ部屋へいたり、犯行を行うことができた。OK。それが否定できぬ限り、ナツヒを犯人呼ばわりすることなどできぬ。ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、ナツヒ、Yeah, how could she? Like, her master, yeah, her, yeah, I was about to say, Burke still can, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's not my time yet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, so what you Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
さそれが本当にできるなら最高に面白いんだけどねいいわエリカ受けて立ちなさいじゃあすごいいいエリカまず熊沢さんですがとてもシンプルな話です熊沢さんご自立をあっ知りたい OK 熊沢さんは昨夜就寝されてから朝事件を知らされるまで一度でも控え室を出ましたか Did you ever leave the servants' quarters? いいえ朝までぐっすりでしたと思う私昨夜の晩餐の後にエヴァさんと談笑していて面白い話を聞かせてもらっていたんです okay, what, what エヴァさんに伝えてそれとは何か、yeah, for real, what is she talking about? <laughs> Okay, so she told Erica about that. Okay. She did that there too? Oh. Yeah. True. There will be a crime. I'm going to be a crime. I'm going to be a crime. Okay. Okay, Erica. Okay. Erica held a small folded piece of brown paper high in the air. Hey. Yep. In the morning, the seal was still intact. Yep. Dang. She, she was confident in herself. She now Kumasa's an alibi, but now what about Goda? Okay. Oh man, we're about to go through all these. <laughs> Good. To, Sbarashi alibi da wa. Ichibu no suki mo na. Airtight. Kumasawa wa. Erika to tomo ni guest house ni modori. Sono mama hikai shitsu ni haitte yasumi. Asa made heya o deru koto wa nakatta. Tsumari Kumasawa wa. She never went to the second floor in some morning, yeah. Hmm. The proof Erica had... The proof Erica had shown was elevated by Birkenstall and became Red Truth. This truth, which had become red, could no longer be overturned even by Beto. In other words, it would, in that instant, Kumasawa's perfect alibi had been absolutely guaranteed. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was about to say where I go there. ゴーダさんのゲストハウス到着後はすぐに使用入室にこもられました、mm -hmm. そして同様にこれで封印させていただきました okay, so、そして、ゴーダさんが午後の自身のお戻りになった時はたまたま廊下に出た私が気づき使用入室のゴーダさんにそれを伝えたのです、mm -hmm. その時、封印は健在でしたのでゲストハウスに到着してから午前1時までゴーダさんは Never left the server room. そしてその後はラウンジで午前3時まで私と一緒にいました。そして午前3時以降は私は2階に上がってこないことを保証できます。エリカの封印はゴーダが午前1時まで使用入室にこもっていたことを証明するのです。そして午前3時までのアリバイ
Or give us our, our um, glass breaking animation. Yeah, there we go. ありがとうございます。我が主。我こそは探偵。人間を殺し者。人間を超えただ。この思い上がり目。口走るには千年早いわ。<laughs> Yo, <laughs> everyone who's not with Eric. In fact, does Burgess even like Erica? <laughs> Yo, this ain't no one liking her. <laughs> yep. He did. They're in the guest house, yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she decided to let me play some cards too. <laughs> Goldfish. Okay. At midnight. <laughs> They're really dead. <laughs> the murder occurred before midnight. Only after. <laughs> We guarantee. Oh, which one is this one? Oh, that one. Yep. And that one too. Yeah. Okay. Then we have other time intervals that we have to go over. Okay. Yeah, but this. Okay, yeah, I see why we got this on point too. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. Up surprising unsurprisingly, Bito's side couldn't get away with the simple simple plan of claiming that the victims were only playing dead. But in order to overcome Goda and Kumasawa's alibis, it should have been possible to suppose that the crime occurred before those doors were sealed. However, the opponent had predicted this move perfectly, and it had now been shown in red that the crime did not occur before the time period covered by Beach by Erica's alibis. ゲームセンターに飛んでないよ。さらに言うと、22時の時点で屋敷の2階で起こりは夏に起こる。ね、いや、remember <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep, <laughs> Since Erica had been in the guest house, 
It was only natural that she could explain the situation there. However, since she couldn't be in the mansion at the time, explaining the situation over there would have been extremely difficult for her. Bito would normally have attacked there with the blue truth, saying that the people in the dining hall had all agreed to help keep agreed to keep to the same story, and that someone might have snuck out of the dining hall and committed murder in the guest house. However, because Burn had instantly settled that matter with the red truth, Bito had completely lost her chance to strike back. Mm -hmm. おのれ。よっこいですな。これほどまでに不利とは。いや。これじゃまるで。じゃあ、さあ、ね。ね。その時よりもさらに状況は悪い。いや、ね、ロックとグッマン、よ、アマニーゲットミーサムモーティー。サ
Bum 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 bum. So she had flat out refused Beatles repetition request. What was that? She responds to Erica's immediately. Well, of course. The Red Truth was starting to corner Beto. Beto grimaced, as though in pain, but she still st struck back with the Blue Truth. No, she really was in pain. <laughs> as alibis were steadily established for everyone other than Nazi, the witch illusion was also being denied. Beto perceived the, na the denial of her existence as pain. <laughs> そうね。南条がラウンジでエリカと一緒に1時から3時までいたことは分かったけど、それ以前とそれ以後はどうなのかしらね。うん。どう、エリカ。はい。まず午前1時以前のアリバイ。これは全く問題ありません。私が24時ま
Nice. Yep. So that's yep. That's splendid. Yep, so he's good for using the seal she places on the doors. Erica was granted red truths from Birkenstell, one after another. When I gave Beto our petition request, it was about maneuvering and tactics, but it's totally different for Erica. For her, it's like having a trump card which can make red whenever she wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Beto racked her brain to find some point to, la to latch onto, but Erica's red had been ruthlessly perfect. There was no point she could take issue with. We took up thinking hard, trying to fault Erica on something, but her expression was so wrought with desperation that anyone could tell by looking. <laughs> Pop, cute, perfect, good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Battler. Yeah. Mm. yeah, his his thing was up there on the that list, so <laughs> don't ignore me. <laughs> huh? Oh, what heck? At that moment, Arrow twisted like a golden snake and hit me. It didn't pierce through me, but it slapped me hard on the cheek like a whip. Damn, they, <laughs> they slapped you in the face, man. Dang. Dang. Yo, dude wanted to get a little chance to say something, and he should have got shut down. It was a slap, too. Erika! Mm. Yep, Balor, he's the only one left in that guest house. Well, we know he's, he didn't do it, but... but what, what, what are they going to say about this one? I mean... Yeah, but this comes to, um... Oh, I guess... Uh, ドラを飛ばしちゃう。これは失礼しました。すっかり失念しておりました。そなたは午前3時に帰ってきたバトラと共に2階へ上がり。そしてそなたも自室に戻って眠ったはずだ。24時にいとこ部屋を訪れたか
そうとは知らずに入り朝まで寝てしまったただの愉快な第一発見者ですいやバカな、like、お得意の封印でもそれを証明することは不可能なはずいや<笑>どうしてそれがそんな How I got it. How? <laughs> He was like, What the heck? You watch, watching me sleep? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, what? <laughs> How can you say that? <laughs> oh. Um. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm the same floor. But how can she, though? Like, on the same floor? Wait, you heard him? You could. Does it crack through the walls? or...? <laughs> yeah, right next door. Okay. You have to hear, hear against the door all night? That is just creepy. Yo, Erica. <laughs> this is where Erica just makes herself just. My opinion of her just gets worse and worse, man. That is just. That's full on creep. That's that that is that's full on creep. You being you're a creep. <laughs> Yo. I put my ear against the wall. Yo, facts. Yo. <laughs> Yo, she will. The whole. What? Until morning. Like, until morning. So. From 3 a.m. until the. <laughs> Yo, Erica, you. That. I have no words for that one other than yuck. <laughs> like, everyone was stunned into silence. <laughs> Anyone would be. She put her ear against the wall for the entire time until morning. She listened to what was going on in Battler's room. Just what? <laughs> Just what would that. Until dawn, she had silenced her breathing in a pitch black room, clinging to the wall, shared with the cousin's room. Like some kind of creepy venomous spider clinging to the wall of a dark 100%. Prince alone was grinning in triumph. This is laughably just insane. ですから、我がアルジの追いつけ通り朝まで一睡もせずに壁に耳をつけ異常が起こらないか感傷しておりました。うん。エリカの記憶力は写真並みそして聴力は録音機並み。エリカの耳をごまかして常時。I'm part of the tape recorder, okay. Okay. Tante Kengen de Mitomerita no Lucne. Mitometa de Paca de Nintesrua. Tushironi a Patova. Gozen Santi, Itokobea ni Modori, Sonoma Shusin Shita. Okay. Well, I mean, I knew that. The red painful. It was only natural. The red truth they had spoke not only guaranteed Battler's alibis, but the number of other things as well. First of all, it meant the murder was impossible for anyone after 3 a.m. 
Yeah, because then her ear was against the whole door thing all the time. So I had to be between, um, yeah, those times. And since the cousins were confirmed to be alive late as midnight, the time period of the actual crime automatically became between midnight and three o'clock. Yeah. And that automatically provided a guaranteed alibi for everyone who wasn't in the guest house before 3 a.m. Yeah, that does. The only time intervals is between midnight to one and then midnight to three. エリカは24時以降はずっとゲストハウスにいます。つまり、屋敷にいた人物のアリバイを証明することが難しいはずだ。いや、ちょうどこの地域のアリバイ証明の困難を極めた。それが逆に簡単に彼らが24時から午前3
どのような物理的心理的資格も存在しません、うん、我が主復唱を要求しますゲストハウス2階へはラウンジにいた人物に知られずに至ることは不可能もちろんこれは内部から2階へ至る話だけれどうん、from inside from outside グッドです、我が主さて次はベアトリーチェ教のご考察の外部から至る方法です、mm-hmm. これには正直困りました登れそうな木もありますしはしごを使う手もあるでしょう And also a ladder, yeah. 2階に至ることも不可能とは言い切れませんしかし、yeah, tough, これを助けるだけにはいきませんほうさせぬとな<笑>ほうではどうしたというのかまさか夜通しゲストハウスの周りをぐるぐる回ってネズバーをしたのかというのか Yo, Beatrice, I wouldn't put anything past Erica at this point いやそれはできないよなそなたはラウンジにいたのかラウンジの窓から見える外は外周の一部に過ぎないそうです私は外壁を2階まで登るあらゆる方法を完全に防ぐことはできませんしかし2階へ侵入することを防ぐことはできましたすでに読めているケプス、恐ろしい。ここまで必要と。いや。ゲストハウスはその構造上、外部から2階へ侵入するには窓を使うほかありません。正常どうでもいいことです。ただ、窓が、鎧戸が。一度も開かれなかったことを保証すればいいだけの話でしたけれどもあなたはあることのできるすべての方法を断絶する工作を開始しましたへえ同じことですこれまでと何も変わらずあんたまさかゲストハウスのすべてのマンション。Yeah. Okay. 得意の封印をしたって言い出すの。あの天気の中、その格好で。<笑> Just like that. <笑>一応、漂着時の水着持ってますので。行かれてやがる。For Erica. Yeah, for real. そして迎えられた家で。まだ何も起こってないのに。あの雨の中。そんなことをして回るってのか。Did that to all the windows on the first second? No, to all things which could possibly have permitted entry. After hearing that she'd listened to the cousin's room all night long without sleep or a wink, even this bizarre behavior didn't seem quite so impossible. That had probably also looked like a venomous spider. A repulsive venomous spider crawling eerily over the outer walls of the guest house in the middle of a storm. あなたという人は我が後宮家を何だと心得ておられるのですか客人として迎えた恩も忘れうん。ああ、フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシーだよ。フィギュアナシ事件発生前に何の準備もしない探偵は私から見れば三流かと投流先で人が死ぬと私たちは知っているのだから<笑> yeah, I got see that. そしてエリカは事件発覚と同時に全ての封印が破られていないことを確認したの。エリカが死体発見時に一番にいとこ部屋に到着しなかった理由はそういうことよ。死体なんて見分しなくても赤き真実でいくらでも確定が取れる。それより重要なのは
アリバイ構築のための封印の確認だった我が主は完璧です私は主に命じられたままに全てを完璧に証明しただけですうん見事よエリカ私の分身私の駒どう<笑>ラムダこれでラウンジでのエリカの見張りはアリバイ構築時絶対の信頼性を持つことが証明されたと思うけど There's no way to reach the second floor without passing through the lounge. <clears> hmm. <throat> so this. Okay. Hey, Mitomerua. Erika, Anata no Fui wa Kampi yo. Perfect. So, <laughs> Hold up, what was that last one? Is it possible to reach the second floor of the guest house without passing through the lounge? Is it impossible to reach it at all without Erica, who is. Okay. 次のことが確定したわけです大美女により犯行時刻は生存確認をした24時からラウンジで段々が始まった午前1時までの1時間の間に限定されるいやペイン<笑>いやそこで南條先生と意気投合し午前1時まで書庫でミステリー談義にふけっておりましたお恥ずかしながらすっかり熱中してしまっていたためその間廊下を誰かが通り抜けても私は気づけませんでした Really? Hey, Tanjo, with that, with that conversation distraction, unintentionally. After doing all that maneuvering and setting up seals to guarantee a perfect alibi, she became too engrossed in a mystery discussion and left an opening. She had a relaxed smile and was completely shameless, the sole opposite of her words. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> she is really all over the place with this. It almost seems like, she, like it's the other way around. It's enough to make you think that this is an intentional trap. Said in full awareness that only Nazi doesn't have an alibi for the, for the hour following midnight. つまり、逆説的に申し上げると、こういうことです。いとこ部屋に至って犯行を行えるのは、24時から午前1時までの間に、アリバイを失う人物だけということです。Her eyes clearly hinted that Nazi was the only one who fits this description. Hmm. Only possible between those ti that time. Beep, 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 beep. It had been a crime that occurred on a, at a completely unknown point during that long night. But because of, alibi, because of the alibis Eric had constructed, that time period had been compressed and restricted to the single hour following midnight. Okay, I'm super with time. Erica left the cousin's room at midnight. This is the last time we have confirmation that George and the others were alive. Mm -hmm. And after the party in the lounge started at 1 a.m., it was impossible to reach the cousin's room by any method. A mere human, a mortal. Dang. <laughs> 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 Dang. 
Battle over there, he just has to listen to that. Talking smack to him. <laughs> smack about him. Yep, midnight one, yeah. Okay. この時点で二階廊下に夏日クラウス源氏がおりそれ以外の全員が一回食堂を出ましたこれはすでに我があるに そしてご存知の通り謎の午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前午前
私は午前1時の小休止の時源氏さんの控え室に行ってエリカちゃんと同じ服をしたああああこれが破られていなかったなら午前1時から翌朝までこの部屋は誰も出入りできなかったことになる。The seals. The room of Genji is also restricted to an interval of midnight to one. Man. Bum 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 bum. Oh, Ken and Kumasawa. Okay. Ken rose emotionally and yeah, they both stood up. そしてその時扉に封印化されているのに気づきそれを破いて扉を開きましたねは,はい何かのいたずらだろうと思いましたあの時はそんなことは深く気にしませんでしたあオッケー感想は聞いてません事実だけを述べるように<笑>封印を破ってノーオピニオン、ジャスファクトははいオッケー赤き真実でエヴァとカノンとクマサワの今の証言が真実であることを保証するよエヴァは午前1時に源氏の控え室に封印をしそれは朝の事件発覚時にカノンとクマサワに破られた面倒だからさらに付け加えるわ午前1時の小中止で最初に食堂を出たのはローザとエヴァよエヴァが戻るまで食堂の人間は全員その場にとどまっていたエヴァはローザを見送った後控え室へ行き封印を送る無論その際に室内には一切立ち入っていない、yeah. okay. これらは全て関係者からの事情聴取で分かったことです根拠なき赤き真実ではありません証言から構築された正当な推理による真実です証言だけでなく指紋の採取各種科学捜査可能な限りを尽くしました<笑>何しろ金蔵さんの書斎はあらゆる薬物の宝庫赤き真実に限りなく近い究極の真実である各種の調査結果を得ていますはあサイエンスミステリーではないのでその詳細は割愛しますが<笑> As Erica swaggered around the cathedral she arrogantly touted her scientific knowledge she had thorough knowledge of all the chemicals in Kinzo's study and had used them to conduct scientific investigation which had now been acknowledged and made into red truth by Birkenstall Without going into too much detail, the results she had obtained would have been convincing even without the red truth. Fingerprint collection with all aluminum powder, com composition analysis on the mud under people's shoes, various chemical reactions from clinging rainwater. Erica had walked in and out of the study that didn't belong to her several times. Using all manners of chemicals, however, she pleased without asking the family's permission. No one could fault her for this. The pieces couldn't hinder any action the detective might take for the investigation. That was the power of the detective's authority. Mm hmm. <laughs> うん。以上から、源氏の控え室へ行ったり、犯行を行うのが可能なのもまた。二十四時から午前一時までであることが証明されたわ。そしてさらに、エリカの調査によって、源氏にもいとこ部屋へ至るのが不可能であることが証明されたわ。It had already been made clear in Red Truth after transferring the phone call to Nazi. Genji had gone straight back to the servants' quarters. Now, based on the results of Erika's scientific investigation, they added a further Red Truth. Genji never left the mansion after midnight. 
Mm -hmm. This made it clear beyond doubt that Genji could not have reached the guest house, much less the cousin's room. Makes sense. Genji has an alibi. Yep, only these two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, poor Nazi. Oh. Who's <laughs> wait, wait, hold up, hold up, wait, go back. <laughs> What's she saying? Nazi's mouth flapped open and shut like a goldfish starved of <laughs> That was an accurate analogy, for real. Nancy's mind was blank and spinning out of control, and she felt as though she really would suffocate. Patchworks. Okay. Mm. Dang, could you do that? <laughs> They are falsely accused, exactly. Respect. Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> guess not. It's not possible that I cross in the mansion. Is it not possible yet? Mm. We just realized that they were rapidly approaching the end of this battle. Normally those these alibis of Erica's would still have many places that Beetle could argue against using the blue truth. However, all of those alibis had been accepted by Brokenstone and Lemma Delsa as a real truth. And Beetle no longer had any room to argue. Not bad. Mm. <laughs> <笑>うん。そうですね。ゲームマスターのラムダデルタ教がなっとくしたなら、その真実の神話は問われない。その最後の真実は本当の真実とどれ。クラウソおじさんは犯人のわけない。yeah, wait, what? I, I clicked that, I didn't mean to. Um, authenticity will be not be questioned. The world the world that comes after will be formed based on truth. It means in the end, this happens. Yup, yup. True, mm. true. Ooh, <laughs> what do you think, Battler? So, what are your thoughts, man? <laughs> In a cowardly fashion. But, まだ受けたくしているとはいえ、赤き真実で認められています。つまり、嘘だけで構築した偽の真実では断じてありません。つまり、エリカの真実でも筋が通るのです。Truth makes sense. But it is consistent. Huh。Okay. They are money, big money trouble. <laughs> big money trouble. <laughs> Cross with his terrible deals, man. Of course, man. 
エリカの推理はまさにそれに踊らされたものだからエリカは意図してかせずしてか本当の犯人の片棒を担いでるんだエリカが夏代おばさんを犯人だと告発しそしてこの場にならばこそ俺だけは夏代おばさんを信じたい OK You want to be the one, man. If everyone assumes it's true, does it become the truth? If everyone accepts a lie, does it become the truth? It must be. Must the solitary truth teller be dragged to the gill, guillotine to the jeers of liars? Okay. Okay, man. 全員が納得したら決まるものじゃない徹底的に双方の可能性を検討してその上で至るもんなんだだからこの法廷は嘘っぱちだこの法廷は夏代バカの犯人だとでっち上げるためにしか存在しない<笑> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This kangaroo court, man. <笑>違うベアとしているのは神戸言い訳でしかないこの法廷では、mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't always be on the defense. Yeah, different truths, yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, man, yo, Batman is a little crazy there. ベルンカステル教の示した赤き真実。ナツヒが犯人で何を見つけたか。ナツヒが犯人で何を見つけたか。ナツヒが犯人で何を見つけたか。ナツヒが犯人で何を見つけたか。ナツヒが犯人で何
たった一つの力です。力か。有限のマス。ワルギリアの何を。Oh, okay, but I was about to get a little power, man. ベアトリーチェとして、あなたに赤き真実を託します。後ろにはナツキは犯人ではない。Oh, yeah. <laughs> フランスが犯人だと認めたならエリカはナツヒに対する追及を中断以後は所在不明のクラウスが犯人ということで追及。Was, was <笑>どうするベアトこのままじゃナツヒやばいわね。シホトリフクは後ろミヤケの名誉とやらを放棄するなら。This Ushimiya family honor thing. Cross was currently missing, and it was unknown whether he was alive or dead. True. Unlike Kinzo, like Kinzo, he was no different than a cat in a box that disappeared into the mists of the island. The cat in the box is a creature of infinite variation. No interpretation of it can be denied. It is root of endless interpretations, the true source of the endless witch's power. In other words, no matter how much Beatrice were to claim that Cross was the culprit, she wouldn't be able to make that the sole truth. That is, the Cross culprit theory that the witch theory could exist in almost perfect balance, yeah. Beatrice could make the game a draw. Hmm. Brumisil was tempting her. She was offering her a second chance if she would abandon the honor of the family she'd sworn to protect and consent to weaving a fragment that would trample all over that honor. There was no room for false evidence. Confidence. For Bito to lose was to die. Unless she could see herself having an overwhelmingly advantage in this game, the right move had to be to actively pursue a draw. Mm hmm. Jeez. Ugh. <laughs> But honor! <laughs> honor! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Nazi is the culprit. Um. Not because of what the, in the red, but before that, even. Wasn't it? <laughs> 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 And you'll be the one. Yo, but Natsu said, "Yo, I got honor. <laughs> My honor as a wife." Sonata以外の全員のアリバイの証明、すなわちヘンペルのカラス、何の証拠もなく、ソナタを犯人だと断定できてしまう。私しか残らなければ何だと言うのですか。私は潔白です。<laughs> <laughs> And so, what if I'm the only one left? Oshima and Nasi, I will not run and hide. I'm not sure. And so, what if I'm the only one left? Oshima and Nasi, I will not run and hide. I'm not sure. And so, what if I'm the only one left? Oshima and Nasi, I will not run and hide. I'm not sure. With fiction. With a dignified voice, Nasi st stated her case openly before the witches above her. However, this response of hers might have been exactly what Burkestel had intended. Yeah, drawing her in, drawing her in. Anti arguments? That I'm not sure. <laughs> They're airtight, but what is there in there that's been bothering me? Wait, what? Hold up, what was that? What are you talking about, Bergen? So, let's refuse the deal, and you run. Yep. Not to refuse the deal, but what would you just say? You're really about to accept this draw? 
お嬢様が譲歩するところを見せれば喜んでそれを受け入れ次のゲームに仕切り直すはずですうん次のゲームに仕切り直されこのゲームの夏日を、うん、このかけらの夏日をどうなるというのか。Oh, this fragment, huh? So, now the king is dead by the night. So, that's he, the show sent Gomayo. Gono game, she's not just a piece, she's my piece. But I told you, Sura. Scotch, Ojo Sama was so you walk in your mighty massen. Conkai no game, the Beren Castle Kyo no Teno Chua Wakapa Hazness. So, because Jikai no game, the Shori or Mezas Hoga Kenjits the Kiss. Coco. ベルンカステル教の取引に乗るのが唯一無二の上則かとくだらないプライドは捨てなさいカスパロフもディープブルーム無敗じゃないわ最後に勝率で勝者を決めるんでしょ一つの勝負一つの人生一つの駒に魔女が執着したら死ぬわよ、yeah. そういうわけにはいかなくても誰もが違うと言っても自分だけは信じる男の強さとそれを捨てなければならなかった男の悔しさわらわは知っているわらわはナッチを見捨てぬなぜか誰もがナッチを疑うのなら誰かがナッチを信じてもらうのだろう疑う者と信じる者の狭間にこそ見つけ出せるからだわらわは見捨てぬぞ誰もがナッツヒを犯人と信じるならそれでもわらわは魔女が犯人であると主張するそれが主張できるならわらわの存在価値などそれまでよ負けられねえんだよ真実ってのはさ誰かが否定するもんじゃねえ、うん、自分が疑って捨てた時に消え去るんだよそれがペアとの返事ああ当然拒否、so、refuses, yeah. 後ろ宮クラウツは犯人にあらずうんゲーム Yeah. That's the last one. Baka. No, Dorikashi was Kanai. No, 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 <laughs> 後ろ宮クラウスは犯人ではない、mm? そしてとっくに殺されてるの and he was killed on dang rest in peace cross man yo he straight up killed after them dang and she <laughs> man her daughter and her husband now <laughs> she's like yo yeah by the way cross dead Bring those cruel and ruthless red blade, yeah. Gouge, yeah, gouge Nazi, yeah. It was all too merciless. The lack of knowledge is whether Cross was alive or dead almost crushed Nazi with anxiety, but she had at least been capable of believing that she was alive. And now, that hope, that expectation had been crushed without any chance for a miracle. She had thrown herself into this tarp out of concern for her husband's safety. With the loss of her daughter and husband, she had now lost everything she had gained with gained since marrying into the Ushimiya family. No, even after all this, one thing still remained. If her husband was lost, then right now she was the last person who she could protect the honor of the Ushimiya family. Still, she still couldn't let it end here. Even wrapped up in so much sadness, Nasi would do this do all she could to protect that honor with her last ounce of strength. Yeah. 
That's all until one o'clock, though. Dang, like that, just, just like that. Mm. Bro, I do balance that and had a chance to shine. Never did Delanora say anything yet, so. The Nazi had an alibi. Bitsu would have shown it long ago. In fact, wasn't the whole point of the trap to make her lose her alibi? Of course she is, yeah. <laughs> Your fake truth. <laughs> mm. いかなる恥ずかしめにも口けることがありません。そう、なぜか。お父様は私に心に偏った和紙の紋章を <laughs> Now that Nazi and Beatrice had practically been placed on the guillotine, they cried out with all the strength and determination. However, that did not that did nothing except bring a cold smile to the game master of Lambda Delta's face. Erica had constructed a truth that Lambda Delta could accept. Yeah. And no one could construct a more convincing truth to deny Erica's. In that case, the most convincing truth would swallow up everything else and become the one and only truth. Even if that happened to be different from the real truth, the truth of those in the past, truth of those in the past is swallowed up by the truth of those in the future. Even if that truth is is a fiction, as long as everyone acknowledges it to be true. Oh. Mm. 
one last red? For real? You have one more strike while you're already down. Mm. なつき金蔵があんたの心に片翼の和紙を刻むことをいつ許したってのあんたの妄想の中の金蔵の言葉ですそれは本当の金蔵はねいや本当に妄想を許そうと思ったこともただの一度もないわあんたに妄想を許そ
was a mixture of sadness and many other emotions, echoed throughout the cathedral. Now she could no longer stop her tears. Same, some last faint element that had cheered her up until today, that had allowed her to endure the Ushimiya as the wife of the head's representative and as the final, head, family, final family head, had been torn to bits. Natsu no longer had anything left. Natsu couldn't longer allow herself to even call herself an Ushir Ushiromiya. Man, that is true when you put it in that perspective too, because the difficult days, the painful days, all those days working for them and everything. This is where she gave everything she could for the family she'd married into despite it all. The rare happy days that existed among them. <laughs> this the slice of life days that they had before this. All these fitted flitted through her mind one after another and disappeared. All those once beautiful memories now crushed by, by Birkenstow's red truth, smashed into tiny shards that scattered everywhere, buried themselves deep into her hands, and soaked them red with the blood of sorrow. It was the red of sadness, the truth. The red truth. <laughs> Sad truth. Of course, she got us with her famous quote. Lambda Delta clapped. Then a little later, the next brother brings up again to clap as well, looking satisfied. <laughs> the expressionless wax figures like audience followed suit, and the unshakable verdict was welcomed with great applause. And so, the truth of this tale was decided. Nope. Happy days of <laughs> Yo, facts. This, those, are, those are some, those are some, some happy memories right there. Okay, y'all, it's late. I'm going to continue the second part of this next time. I hate to end it right here, but I, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know how long I have left for this chapter, but... Plus, I got family who's fine asleep. But yeah, we'll continue with this next time. Um... The second part of this chapter, part, we'll see what happens. I know Balor's going to do something. Balor has yet to say something. He has, I know he's going to get a chance to shine in this section. But. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about the fondle. See, it was, see, it, they, it's always the times. The times are bothering me. See, I was, I was really trying to pay attention. If y'all, if you, I got really silent. When I get like super silent, it's because I'm like really paying attention and thinking about this stuff. Um, it was, it was those times. I was really looking at that. And I was like, yo, they're, they mentioned like between the 12 and then one. And I was like, wait a second. Hold up. There were some people who were moving around at that time still, um, or something like that. So, I believe what was it? It was Ava and Rosa were at the time doing the thing with the thingy. No, Ava was doing that. Then Rosa went over there. So that 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 was what was bothering me. I kept I kept going about that, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll think about that more later on. I have to go right now. But yo, thank y'all for tuning in for this. Um, yo, yo, next part is gonna be great. I already know it too. I'm looking forward to Battlers. Um, Battle of Shining or something. Or something's about to happen. But, yo, um... But, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm tired. Um, I might have something up... Do I record anything tomorrow? I might have something up tomorrow. I see. I'll see. I'm busy. It's, it's, it's like July got... Was like, I was free in July, then I got busy all of a sudden. So... Yeah, hopefully, next month, August, it'll be, I'll be more free and whatnot for stuff. But, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your week. If I don't see y'all later on this week, next stream. See y'all next stream, and... Yeah, check out blows on the channel. Yeah, until then, um, enjoy the rest of your night or day or I don't know what time it is where y'all. I, oh, I, I I believe it's nighttime, but yeah. Anyways, see y'all later. Peace and out. Oh yeah, yeah, my poll, my poll, my poll. <laughs> Erica over Ava Beatrice. <laughs>
Oh man, I, I like that we could. A, a majority of us could agree for that. A majority of a majority of us agree with that. I agree with that too. Ava Beatrice was <laughs> just a menace. <laughs> just just unnecessary. Like an, like like <laughs> the way she went about things was just like, damn. Laughing all the time. Yo, anyways, that's it. Peace and out.